Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. And let's start with some funny ass shit. <laughs> Did you guys see the uh, mayor of Portland get his ass tear gas? <laughs> you fucking dummy. Now, number one, you're a dumbass for being out there with the rioters. What are you doing out there? What are you trying to do? What message are you trying to send? What, you don't want the feds there? What well, message received? We know you don't want them there. If you took care of your shit, they wouldn't be there. You think those people want to be there getting bottles and shit thrown at them? God knows what else they're throwing at them and saying to them. You think they want to be there dealing with that shit? Of course not. But your poor planning became their emergency. So now they're there. We know you don't want them there. So why the fuck are you out there with the rioters siding with them? But they weren't happy about his ass either. They were yelling shit at him, telling him how does it feel to get tear gas. I guess he was a, a bit heavy handed with the tear gas on some of his citizens in the past. So they're saying, well, how does it feel now, you asshole? You dumb shit. Why are you out there? So then he says, he gets tear gas, right? He took two heavy doses of, of some tear gas, which is what you fucking deserve. All you garbage ass politicians should be tear gas. Anyway, having been through the tear gas scenario in boot camp, I can tell you that shit is no fun. It burns. It hurts. Good. That's the only good thing that came out of his stupid ass going down there is that he got tear gas. <laughs> that idiot's out there like some throwaway medical mask, like those little blue ones you loop around your ear and fucking goggles like he's about to go weed whacking or something, you idiot. So this dumbass is out there with the rioters getting his ass tear gas. So then he says, I see absolutely no reason that they just tear gassed everybody. Like, they just did it for fun. And maybe it is fun to tear gas Antifa. Anyway, so he's saying, I see nothing to warrant these federal agents tear gassing people. Fast forward to his dumbass getting rushed inside of a safe area because the mob turned on him. First, he was talking, giving some stupid interview. You see a, a, what looked like a water bottle fly over his head and hit the wall next to him. He looks around like, like he's going to do something. So he's looking around. So then he keeps doing the interview. Next thing you know, his private security team, you see that? Defund the police for your dumb working stiff blue or white collar ass. Fuck you. Him, he had a squad of some no neck motherfuckers with earpieces around him. So they rush him into a safe area. But if there was no reason for the federal agents to tear gas, what are you running from? If these are just a bunch of peaceful protesters, kumbaya, my lord, out there with their fucking signs, then why are you running, running into a safe area, into a building where they can close the doors behind them so water and bottles and profanity, do no, they no longer rain upon your stupid ass if they're, pro, if they're peaceful protesters. If they're just out there exercising their First Amendment right, then what are you running from? Why'd you run inside? Look at the video. That Russian is full inside that building like there was an assassination attempt. But why? If they're peaceful, see you hear that word? Peaceful. If it's peaceful, what are you running from? unless it's not peaceful and you're a fucking liar. These little bastards don't know peaceful. That's why the federal agents are there. Do you understand, dummy? Do you understand, you soft-headed, granola-eating dirt fucker? Do you get it? Stop feeding us this peaceful protest bullshit. We're stuffed. We can't handle anymore. Stop feeding it. It's a lie. That's why your dumbass had to be pushed into a building so they didn't hurt you. Fucking idiot, man. That shit was he's like, oh, I'm not gonna lie. It burns. Yeah, it burns, fool. It's not called fun gas. It's called tear gas. Fucking idiot. I hope all these shitty mares 
then these shitty politicians are dumb enough to go out in these mobs and they get tear gas too. You stupid assholes. This is what you created. This is your Frankenstein. This is your monster. And they're, all they're trying to do is send help to protect the federal buildings. You can't do it. You're incompetent. You're inept. You're fucking useless. So what are they supposed to do? And you were warned. He told you, if you can't fix this shit, I'm going to fix it for you. Because ultimately, being the president and all, he's in charge of all this. He's upper management. So if you're fucking up at your franchise and you can't get your shit in line, he has to do it for you to save face for the country at large, you idiot. I'm not going to lie. It burns. Yeah, you stupid shit. If you weren't out there, your dumbass wouldn't have got tear gas. If you were inside your office getting shit done, burning the midnight fucking oil, you wouldn't be out there getting tear gas, you stupid ass. And all your security should have kicked your ass when they got inside the building. Like, what the fuck you got us out here for in the middle of these monsters? In the middle of these overgrown children with stuff to throw, dummy. And so why don't we, why don't we Tarzan swing from one dummy to another? But you know this one all too well. Bidenist pervertist. But I think I'm going to have to start calling them Bidenist dumbasses. You know what he said? Nothing new. But it was different coming from him this time. Biden said that Trump is the first racist president. He said there might have been racists in the past. They may have tried to get in the White House. But he is the first one. So let's tear apart this stupid statement piece by piece. First of all, how do we know he's assuming he's racist? I'll get back to that. Assuming he's racist, how do we know he's the first one? Was it, uh, I want to say, was it Coolidge? Which one was in office when they uh, made that movie Birth of a Nation? Because whatever president that was, he did a screening at the White House. Maybe we can pencil him in as a racist. We don't know if there are other racist presidents. We can speculate. I don't really give a fuck. I wouldn't give a fuck if Trump is a racist. You know why? Because if he is, he's fucking terrible at it. The worst racist ever. David Duke is shaking his head like, damn, man, I really could have taught you something. Because he's fucking terrible at it. All the things he's done for black folks in this country. Didn't he date a black girl? That's that's how you fucking show your racism. That's the pinnacle of racism. When you date and have sex with a person you hate. that That's really knocking the fucking racism out of the park. How many pictures does he have with every rapper under the fucking sun? How many smiling, happy pictures does he have with Al Sharp Tongue and Jesse Jackson and countless other fucks who call him a racist now? Was he racist when you were squeezing his fucking hand in that photo op? If Trump is a racist, he sucks. You don't deal with people you hate. You don't do nice things for people you hate. Hey, next time there's a fly in your house, why don't you find a little piece of shit and put it on the ground so the fly can eat it? Why don't you put some garbage on the floor so the fly can have something to eat? No, you're not going to do that because you fucking hate flies. So you're not going to do something nice for them. I happen to hate pincher bugs. Never got pinched as a kid. Just don't like those creepy little fuckers. So every time I see him, every time I move a piece of wood or one comes scurrying out, I step on it. Why? Because I hate him. I'm not going to pick the little thing up and take it over here so it's safe. No, I'm going to step on it because I hate it. Remember? Hate doesn't allow you to do nice shit for people that you hate. Like I said, if he's a racist, he needs to find another occupation because he's shitty at this one. What a cheap, disgusting thing to say about somebody. You're a racist. Remember way back, kids, strap into the time machine. 
We're going to go back to a time when calling somebody a racist meant something. Where it still had some sting and some bite to it. You don't just hurl those kinds of accusations at people without proof. Now, if you saw him out in public one day with a bunch of soot on his hands from burning a cross in somebody's front yard, I'll take that as proof. Then he's a racist. But calling somebody a racist or calling somebody a pedophile or a pervert, you better not do that shit without proof. That's why I call Joe Biden, Biden is pervertus. There's too much footage of him creeping out kids. Now, if, that was, if it was that same amount of proof of Trump being a racist, then hey, you got to call it what it is. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a racist. That is such a terrible, disgusting thing to say to somebody without proof. If they are, fuck them. But you're going to say that to them without proof for what? To get some votes? Don't worry, you already got the black vote. Remember, 96%. It's a done deal, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. This whole pandemic bullshit, the whole China virus shit, or as I like to call it, the sweet and sour sniffles. Ever since that, people have been at home, people have been watching. We've been watching you guys act like a bunch of fucking idiots. Speaking of a collection of fucking idiots, the NFL is atop that mountain right now. They are planting their flag in Mount Dumbfuck. Now, it said, reading, judging by the article I read, it sounds like they're requiring players to wear the names, I hope you're sitting down, to wear the names of ra victims of racism victims of systemic racism I hope they got big helmets because that's a lot of people why? because everybody's dealt with fucking racism but nobody's dealt with systemic racism in a long time if you're that old remember civil rights movement got rid of that shit everybody experiences racism though so I hope you have big fucking helmets do you need them them bobblehead helmets to hold all those fucking names. We've all experienced it. But you guys have this problem. You can't keep your chocolate out of my fucking peanut butter. I don't come there to hear what you think. I want to see you run into each other and fuck your bodies up. That's all. I don't care what you think. You dumb jock. I don't care. You're a bunch of rich people. You're not one of me, not anymore. You're rich now, so act like it. Fucking clowns. What, so they're doing this so they can show solidarity and support of their black players. What, you mean the NFL has created more black millionaires than any other country to, any other company to exist on this planet? Are you talking about that? I call that some good support. I call that real good support. What's the league minimum? Six to nine hundred thousand dollars a year? Support me. That's support. I think those those players of yours have enough support. What what do they need? What do what do black NFL players need that they're not already getting? Don't they have families? So why are they coming to you for stuff like this? Isn't the NFL your, their employer? So you're supposed to come to the, NF, to the NFL for a paycheck, not support. Not so you can be held and coddled and have Roger Goodell put his thumb up to your ass to the second knuckle, you pussy. Stand up and go play football. I don't need support from my employer. All I need is a paycheck. Everything else I get from my family and my friends. Do you guys have any of those? Find them. And stop looking for support at your job because you're fucking it up for us out here. I don't want to see you with no Mike Brown on your helmet. Find me the black guy that was killed by the cops who was a pre-med student. Who actually experienced real police brutality. 
please. You're going to put any white guys' names on there? You know, the guys who are twice as likely to be killed by cops. There's twice as many of them killed every year. You're going to put any white people's names on those helmets? Of course you're not. Because if you're serious about combating police brutality, you're going to do it for everybody. Not just black people, especially you rich, entitled, out of touch, survivor guilt having motherfuckers in the NFL. Victims of racism. Where? How are black people experiencing any more racism than anybody else? Are there racist people? Yeah, dummy. There's always going to be racist people. But we are not a racist society. Notice how people of color, we can come and go as we fucking please, work where we want, start a business, marry who we want, fuck who we want. We can do everything that everyone else can. So back the fuck up. I don't need you. I don't breastfeed anymore. Get out of my face. I don't need my widow diaper change, and I don't need you to hold me until I fall asleep. Get the fuck off of me. Get away. Stop this shit. No names on the helmets. No black and Indian people removed from the labels. None of that shit. How about this? You want to help people? Take less money out of my check and get the fuck out of my life. All you need to do is make sure we don't get invaded. When I call 911, it better work. Give me roads to drive on and make sure my kids' schools are still standing. What goes on inside those buildings, we'll take care of it. You fucking chunks. We solidarity. I don't need no fucking solidarity. I got a damn family and friends. I'll get it from them. But that's what happens. When you don't get the shit you need in life, you look to the rest of the world for it. That's why the LGBT alphabet soup group is hell bent on everybody bowing to their will because they didn't get the acceptance they needed from their folks. Well, you need to go back to your folks and get what you need and stop looking for it in society. We don't have it for you. We don't we we ain't got none. So stupid. People's names on your fucking helmet. What happened to getting stickers for hitting people? When I played football, you got stickers on your helmet for fucking people up. That's why college, you'll see them with a bunch of whatever their little emblem is, their logo. When I played uh, football, we'd get little hel little footballs and stick them on your helmet. And you knew for every sticker, you lit somebody up. Not the name of some criminal doing criminal shit that meets an early demise. When is this shit going to stop? When? It can't last forever, can it? I don't want to live in that world. Don't tiptoe around me and walk on fucking eggshells. I'll be all right. And you put names on your helmet. Okay. Now what? What does that do? Does that save anybody? Does it help anybody? No. It just quenches your guilty liberal thirst. Well, take your parched ass somewhere else to have it quenched. Because this shit is ridiculous. Let me get in this damn rat race, you guys. I don't know what the fuck. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.